Hello, Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, here to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the cold footings of my deck. Just wanted to say thank you to all my supporters, old and new. I wouldn't be where I am without you. You are my Christmas gift this year. So thank you for everything. And I just wanted to say a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I am here to do your December 25th through December 31st weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. It may not resonate with you. Just take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. I like to get it right. Okay. So you're making progress. You are absolutely making progress towards the end of this month. That is the basis, the six of wands. You're on the way. You're, you're headed in the right direction. Don't give up. Okay? You are headed in the right direction. Um, there is some karma here. Okay? There's some karma. We have the justice card with the judgment card they both represent karma okay so there's karma at play in some way i believe that you guys are really wanting to let something go and maybe you have or maybe you are wicked wicked close to doing it we have the ten of wands here it, maybe you've let it go already if you have then great but if you haven't you are on the verge of letting it go you may be have been you may have been procrastinating you know it is the holiday time you may be waiting for the holidays to get over, but I see that you're really close to freeing yourself from something really close. It's like there's a lack of love wherever you're at. There's a lack of contentment. There is. I mean, you know, it's you just really want to speak up. You want to spill the beans, but you many of you haven't done it yet, but you're real close. You've been planning. You've been making plans to do it. You've gone within. You know, you've gone within, you've really thought about this, you know, and if you haven't gone within, you're go about to, okay, because we have the hermit card, but I think for many of you, you already have, okay, you've gone within, you've made the plan, you know what you're going to do, and you're just waiting for the holidays to get over for many of you. You know, I think you guys are really thinking about somebody from the past or somebody from the past has come back into your life. And then when I say somebody from the past, I'm going to clear this up in a Let's Talk episode. Somebody from the past does not mean that you have dated them. I mean, it can mean that, but it can mean somebody that you knew, just knew in another lifetime or somebody that you knew when you were a child or somebody that you knew you know, 30 years ago, whatever the case is, it doesn't mean you dated them. It can mean that, all right? just want to clear that up. It just, it appears that right now, you know, you're just taking it one step at a time, one step at a time. You're not being impulsive in, in, in any way. You're trying to make the right decisions, but we do have, um, 
you know, discontent on the home front, okay? It looks like there's some kind of discontent at home, like maybe somebody needs to move out or you need to move, I'm not sure. But it feels like home changes in your home life are on the horizon, okay? And the thing is, is that you really have to be willing to speak your truth. You have to be willing to head in the direction of love. You need to be willing to be honest. This is being willing and this is honest and this is love, but it's reversed. It's the Knight of Cups. If you really want this love, you need to be willing to speak your truth. And my ear is ringing at this point. You have to be willing to speak up. And you, I think it is really seriously on the tip of your tongue. You know, you've, you've really done your homework and you're so close to speaking up. Now it's just stepping over that little hurdle of fear. Okay? No fear. Have no fear. Have no fear. There's a little bit of fear here that you have to step over. You have to step outside of your comfort zone. You have to let go of the fear and you need to have faith. Sevens are faith. You need to have faith. Twos are faith too. Okay? You need to have faith that your judgment is acceptable. That your wishes are... are uh, what you need to go for okay your wishes are what who you are you know you need to follow your dreams i feel like right now you're holding your tongue you're holding your tongue you're being silent you're waiting you're waiting for the perfect time and the perfect time is coming up it's coming up it's on the horizon all right because right now you've been deceiving you've been deceiving yourself and you just can't do it anymore all right, it's time for you to speak up and to let the secret out. I'm not happy. I feel like you guys have already come up with a plan. And now we're just waiting for the perfect time. You know, you've planned it. You're now you're just waiting. You're just waiting. There may be some upcoming legal matters, okay? And that could be one of the reasons you're waiting. And I see that you're waiting till after the holidays. Maybe you don't want to disrupt the home during the holidays. Um, this is the home, but it's reversed, okay? So it's like it, you you want this change, but you don't want to speak up. And you don't want to speak up because of fear, plus, you know, there's other factors that come into play. Um, you don't want to disrupt the balance, okay? It is the holiday time. I, I, I got to get through this holiday time because we need, to re, we need to keep balance in the household. I need to be practical at this time. I need to be take the responsible approach right now but you're looking for a new opportunity new excitement and I have to tell you that it's right around the corner when this card comes up this says, act on your hunches do what you need to do okay spill the beans spill the beans you know and you may end up independent in the long run and I think that's what you're looking for many of you I think that you're just you're just wanting to take care of yourself right now you're wanting to um, honor your needs okay you're wanting to live very, be grateful for all that you have and to just work on you and I feel like that's where you're at it's like you know what I, I really have to do what's right for me at this time and I, I just need to work on my soul take care of myself grow myself grow financially work on me you know I just that's what you're looking for I think that's what's in the future many of you could be coming future I mean becoming future becoming single in the near future you know and it could cause some heartache because change sucks okay change hurts and right now I think that you may be hiding behind some kind of addiction maybe you're hiding behind spending money Food, alcohol, drugs, I don't know, because these can signify addictions, but it can also signify the need for balance and escape, okay? You're just faking it right now. You're faking your feelings for something. The fact of the matter is, is you, you're on the tip of spilling the beans and, and telling the secret that's burning inside of you, you know? And right now, there's a lot of heartache. You're going through it internally, and, in the, and you know, there's still more to come unfortunately 
you know, but you do have to speak up. You have to do the right thing for you because all it's doing is eating you alive, okay? It really is. It's not helping anybody. Act now. Get Do what you need to do. And I, you know, this is December 25th through the through the 31st so you know the holidays are almost over take action take action speak up try to do it as nicely as possible okay it is time for you to speak your truth I gotta sneeze <coughs> excuse me it is time for you to speak your truth and I have to tell you why because it's time for you to have compassion for yourself okay it's on the bottom of the deck. It's time for you to love yourself outright. Put yourself first. It's time for you to do some soul searching. It's time to find out who you really are and to follow your path, not your mother's, not your sister's, not your husband's or your wife's, yours. It's time to bring back structure to your life, okay? It is. It's time to bring back organization. Get your, get your life back on track. It's time for you to take the lead and to be the leader of your destiny. You have a beautiful soul inside and out and I think many of you have forgotten <coughs> it's on the tip of your tongue I think and then the holidays get over change is on the horizon and somebody is about to speak up because this is what they're looking for Oh my God. Okay. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. That is what is lacking. I need some passion in my life. And it's time to take action to find it. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Could be somebody from your past. It's right over it. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, uh, she's some crow, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Okay. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. You know, it could be. But I'm leaning towards uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Could be any sign though, so don't hold it to that. <coughs> anyway, whoever you're thinking about. From your past that you've known, doesn't mean you've dated, remember we went through this, is probably the one. All you have to do is take ownership of your life now. Oh my God. Past life relationship. You have known each other before and that's what I think it is. I do. It's on the bottom of the deck again. Come on now. You can't ignore shit like that. No more ignoring. I think the time of ignoring your inner truth is just about over, Virgo. You're making progress. You're almost there. The time has almost come. Talk to you later.